Are you ready for reaction time? All right, guys, what's up? Now, y'all wanted this review. I asked you in the community tab. Um, I'll, um, also, guys, any more reviews, I just ask you guys before I make them because I don't want to make them if they're not going to get any views because I usually don't do these type of reviews on the channel. But anyway, let's get into it. All right, Stranger Things Volume 1, Season 4. Now, we watched Season 3 together and everything. My kids watched it. My wife watched it. We went to catch up, so we had, I think we watched it the best way, because we went right into season four, volume one. And um, I have to say, at first, it was different, because when you watch three and go into four, it's like night and day. But when you keep watching the, um, season four, it definitely started to pick up, you know. So it, I, I, I'm going to go off, I'm just going to go off what I remember. You know, AL11 is living in California, I believe now, or somewhere like that. And... A boyfriend, Mike, them still living in um, what's the city? Same town they from? I can't remember the name of town. Um, that sounds bad. Uh, it ain't coming to me. But anyway, y'all know where they from. So they still living there. So what's basically happened is Vecner, which you see in the first episode or two when the girls in the stall, you know he's back. You know got deep voice and stuff, and he's scary, but you don't know much about him. So um, Eleven is staying over there with um the lady, you know, um Jim's secret crush, and her two sons, and her older son is smoking. He got a friend getting high now. On uh, the younger one, he's still having problems. You know that he came out and you know came out the closet or whatever the case may be. So he's more comfortable in skin, but he's having problems not making friends as well as Eleven. Eleven's getting bullied. So Mike, basically, we paraphrase. Mike comes to town, so she put on a whole front for Mike Hawkins. Um, Hawkins, yeah, Hawkins, yeah, Indiana. Hawkins in Anna. So um, she put on a whole front up for Mike, and Mike is sitting there, you know, just happy to see her. And next thing you know, they get to the skating rink. So the girls and the guys that be picking on him, because, you know, they had a situation at school earlier before Mike them got there where they, they was messing with her, and pushed her down, messed, stepped all over her project, et cetera. And, you know, the, the teacher was like, um, 11, what's wrong? Whatever, you know, L, whatever, you know. And, you know, she was, she basically was trying to lie and say nothing, but she looked over towards the girl. So the teacher went and grabbed the girl and said, you coming with me? So the girl got in trouble. So they see her there. So the girl got beef with her again. But these are bullies. So they just bully her, pull her out there to skate, you know, uh, um, do um, chocolate milkshake on her, you know, just embarrassed in front of Mike. You know, Mike don't know what's going on. So the other friends telling Mike, Eleven's not been telling you, hasn't been telling you all the truth. You know, things haven't been great, et cetera, et cetera. So... Eleven goes, runs away, hides in the closet. Mike trying to get to her. The kids blocking, they laughing, and et cetera. And so Mike and the other friend, you know, he's looking for Eleven, and he's talking about, well, let's, just, let's just do us. And he's just like, um, you'll never hit me up. You know, they having problems because they ain't been communicating a lot. None of them, even the older brother and the girlfriend, don't communicate as much. I think it's the distance, you know. So Eleven is basically hiding. So Eleven gets the courage to come out. She looks out the window to see them laughing and talking about her. Eleven comes out, takes the that damn skate, and goes over there, busts the girl across the, the head. White meat, blood, everything. Cracker. She gets back to the crib. Basically, they police come take her, whatever. She gets saved by the people who, you know, gave her the powers and all that good stuff. And spoiler, guys, the old guy, I can't remember his name, but he's alive. I'm paraphrasing because I'm making it short for y'all. So, um, well, I remember next. They had this secret bumper in the middle of the desert somewhere. These people come to the house. The military comes to the house and um, tries to um, tries to um, look for Eleven. So they have a shootout with the people that came and got Eleven to get her powers back. So she down with the uh, Papa. She called him Papa. That's why I remember the old guy with the gray hair. She called him Papa. And she down there trying to get her powers. But so they got hooked up to this machine. And she's laying in water. 
So this is where we find out who Vecna really was. Vecna was the kid in the house that y'all see. And Vecna's father, you know, cut his eyes. His eyes are closed. He got the cuts on him, tried to cut his eyes out. And Vecna, when he was a little boy, he knew he had these different things about him. He used to collect um, spiders and all type of weird stuff. He was bad. He realized he had powers. And we find out when you, we, if I don't know if y'all ever pay attention, but in there, when she goes into her memories, they always start off with number two. They never talk about number one. So me and my wife, when we was watching it, the guy that was weird in there kept on coming to her. I knew I was like this. I, I had a feeling I was like, this got to be number one because how he was talking and the stuff he knew, you could tell that he was, you know, educated on, you know, how to get her to use her powers again. And so basically he, he it gets to the point where she she starts letting it. She starts not fighting the, the procedure no more. She started letting it happen. So when she started relaxing, he gets closer to her. So Vecna gets close to her, number one. She don't know he's number one yet. So when what happens is um, he tries to help her escape. And he's trying to tell her, you know, this place ain't no good for you. They, ain't, they don't appreciate you or whatever the case may be. And so he tells her that he can't leave with her because he's got this thing stuck in his neck. So the thing in his neck is suppressing his abilities and his powers. So what happens with that is while suppressing his powers and his abilities, he is literally after that happens, she tries to stand up because security finds him and try, he says, nah, let him save you straight, whatever he shows. She so he shows her after they run that he can do. So he started busting their heads off their bodies, everything. I mean, the boy went Manita on him. I mean, he was like Darth Vader. And so he tells her to hide in his closet. So I don't know if y'all remember, but when you first start watching it, you think that L kills all the kids and stuff. Because when the man turn around, and see her, her eyes are bleeding and stuff. They don't never show the rest because they that's some great editing. So what happens is when she comes out the class, she's like, it's taking a long time. She hear she hear kids streaming, crying, all type of stuff. She's like, wait a minute, I thought he was take, trying to find his way out. Sound like the kids are dying. So she finds him choking number two against the wall in the air. I mean, choking the hell out of him and. So she's in there, and then he's like, I thought I told you to stay in the closet or whatever. So she tries to run. He locks her in. And he tries to talk to her at first, but he realized that it ain't going down that way. So they have a standoff with the powers. Her powers get unleashed then because she started using what he taught her, which was his mistake. He was teaching her how to find something in her life that brought her sorrow or hurt and that made her mad. So she thought about them pulling her mom away when she was in that rainbow room so when 11 used that she pushed him through the glass so y'all see the glass broke she pushed one through the glass he against the wall you know she effed him up so he breaks through and that one of them openings happened the first one so she pushed and he fell through there his essence so when he fell through there it was a dope scene that i remember my wife watching it and i was like that's dope because the lightning was hitting him tearing his skin and stuff up and that's how he ended up looking the way he did and and i don't know man it just was great i really did like it it started off different than what we were used to but it was a good volume one sorry for volume two guys it was other things that happened i mean with the other friends when i'm um oh a dope scene i'm gonna just tell you about this scene it came before this but i can't remember her name uh what they call her she the mean one redhead uh i can't think of what they call her but um her name's not billy no her brother was billy uh i can't remember I can't remember none of these names, but y'all know what I'm talking about. She had the headphones, so they had to figure out the music keeps him from taking them. Max, yeah, Max. So uh, Max had um, Max was in the graveyard visiting visiting Billy's grave, and she brought him flowers and a letter, a letter or something like that. She had wrote for him. She was reading it. Then they realized that she wasn't moving. So Wagner was messing with her. So they had to get her, her favorite song to put on her ears. And what happened was this dope scene, man, when she's running and this nasty looking place that he live in an under underworld um, upside down. And she's running through there and the music is playing. It was one of the dopest scenes you ever seen. So that's how they kept her out of there. But man, I ain't gonna lie, Vecna, when he um, kills the girl on the, on the ceiling, then he gets the boy over the lake. 
man, that was epic. And I like when my boy goes in the uh, upside down through the lake and he ain't got no shirt on them nasty looking bat monsters. They look, they look nasty. They were biting him, but he was down there. He was down there with a, a, a stick, a, a wrench trying to beat the hell out of him. That was dope. Um, it was good to see um, Jim in the prison. That part was dope. It was good to see them still alive. And um, the part where he broke his um, foot, he had a big old slit across his foot to get his foot out the um, ankle um, shackles. That was nice. I liked that part. Um, I can't remember the the, um, the smart guy. I can't remember his name. They played fake like he was the Russian. You remember his name with the glasses? Black guy with the glasses. Um, <laughs> that did uh, the did uh, karate with the lit kids. So he did uh, he did what they were some sixth graders or some. Uh, he was funny. He had the bunker. You know he had the bunker. Him. Uh, the one that drinks vodka in the middle of the day, him. Um, but yeah, man, it was a dope episode. I mean, dope, not episode, volume one. Part of a season, I'm guessing. It's volume one, season four. So that's my review of it, guys. I would give it out of five stars. I would give it five stars. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give five stars. I give season three five stars. All the seasons. Uh, Stranger Things, man, is, is great. They know what they're doing over there. So I'm excited to see. I think it comes back. Um... Y'all running numbers up too on the um, teaser I did. Appreciate that. But I think it comes back July. I want to say six or something. It's early. July 3rd or something. We get it back. I think it's the first one of those. The first week of July. I know that. But we got it then, guys. That's a review. Hope y'all enjoy it. Um, if you remember anything I don't remember, put it down below. I'd love to hear what you remember about it. But that's, I think, I touched on all the key things that happened. You know, it was some small stuff that happened in there but um i ain't mentioned a lot about them going to the um uh upside down but that part was basically i'm trying to escape it they found it and they were trying to escape it that's basically all that really happened there wasn't really much else that happened um yeah and that's about it like i'm subscribe guys um share the video with someone i'll see you next one peace